What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Dying Light 2. Yep, we're back and we're grinding. And we gotta land before I... There you go. And yes, I did do my intro while gliding up. And yes, did I do it at night time? Because I'm done. Now my immunity is low. And we are probably screwed. No idea why I'm doing this to myself, but we're doing it. Work, 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 work. Ooh. Did it work? Please, 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 please. Before he attacks again. Nice. Woo. Oh. Ooh. All right, we're we're gonna we're gonna wait till morning. Um. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna wait till morning because it's a little detected. it was a little scary, honestly. Ooh. Don't know why I was risking it all for for that. Oh, did you own this? Ring? I'm so sorry, man. Um. Yeah, you're not out here anymore, huh? That's right. I think this is the quarantine zone, right? Luan? Has to be. Yeah, you were right. Only ruins left. Luan? Hey, Major Matt? Aiden here. Aiden, good to hear you, son. You said maybe you could help me out. I'd like to ask how. Not over the radio. Come to the ship. To the main HQ. I'll be there soon myself. All right. Yo, what the heck just happened? I'm nothing to you. Please, let me go. What? What the f... Let's get the hell out of here, Greg. Hey! Wait! Stay away! Hey! What the fuck just happened here? Did I just kill these guys? New story quest. Welcome on board. I'm assuming that's uh, Jack Matt, right? But we like cutting it close. Right. Here, Jack Matt. I just love saying his like full name. Get over here already. Well, my bad, yo. I'm just. Yeah, uh, what do you want? I'm here for Jack Matt. Halt! Biomarker. Here. Report to Meyer in dispatch. The commander is on his way back from the field. Does Matt often go out on field missions? Used to be. He was hardly ever on the ship. Always in the field. Always helping. That's why I joined the Peacekeepers. But lately, Matt's been acting weird. I'm not sure what that's about. It's been this way since before Old Villador and the Renegade attack there. Now this bullshit with the withdrawal, I, I don't get it. Whatever's going on, I am I as confused as you soon. are. Helps us understand. I don't know why. Bullshit I, withdrawal. I don't know who's higher command. <clears throat> He's I probably thought... got his reasons. Whatever they are, innocent people are gonna get killed. But go see Meyer. 
Because I genuinely thought Jack Matt was like the the You're clear. the highest in command, but apparently he's not. I thought there's also like military esque music. Any question? Hey, where's dispatch? There! Alright, men. We take care of the UV lamps and head back to base. It should be on point, fast, and easy. Go, go, go! Some famous war hero. I bet he's rolling over in his grave. Watch your mouth, civilian. Things are tough all over. You know that. Wait, it was her in the uh in that one hideout. Go make yourself Ah, you. I remember you from the canteen. Yeah, canteen. Yeah, I, I guess. From the fight in the canteen? Uh maybe. Don't sweat it. You can really hold your own. I respect that. Aiden, right? Commander told me to brief you about faction matters. Missy welcomes you. Missy? Is she Missy? Uh, who's Missy? It's the name of the ship you're standing in. She played a key role My during bad. the revolution. Missy was My meant bad. to deliver drugs, masks, and other critical medical supplies, then return home. But by then, home was gone. She and her crew had nowhere to go. And what about now? Now, she serves as PK headquarters in Command Central. All directives are issued from right here. Smart. Easier to defend than a building. Exactly. Where is Matt? In the field. He came across a lead in Old Villador. You gotta wait. See that board? He's I got plenty that he's gonna know. not enough men. You wanna pick up some of our slack? We pay well. Hurry. Fuck, that's major mass. Ready, Something's hurry. happened. Make room. What? Clear the way. He's bleeding out. We found Whoa, we found Aider. Fuck. Oh Aider's in really bad shape. Take him to the infirmary. Oh, Summon the medics. He's alive. We have to save him. He's alive. Hang He's on, alive. Aitor. We won't let you go. You hear me? Get moving. Yeah, there was no shy who was dead. He Better just got like. Survives. He just got punched really hard. We lost really too hard. many people in Old Villador. Jack will do all he can to find out who did this. Waltz did. What the hell is Supply doing? Delivering lamps ain't a difficult job. I need to know, yeah. I want to know about Aider's condition. Let's do that. <coughs> Yo, he's. Really, you're not gonna move out the way? Sorry for him. He's looking worse and worse. I died of pain. How long is it gonna last? No, Stephen. The filthy herb brother will decide my husband's fate. Is that why you got a medical degree? To go running to quacks for magic cures? Listen, we don't have medicine. Herbs are our only chance. My husband has fought for you for years. You must get medicine for him, not some herbs that might poison him. <sighs> Time to go, kids. How is he? Ator is strong, but he needs medicine. And that, unfortunately, we don't have. We did the best we could with what we have. After the chemical attack, some plants gained healing properties. They worked like an antibiotic. But still, I, people here have strong opinions about healers, but you can hardly blame them. The folk healers give sound advice, but it can prove difficult to follow correctly. Misremember something, gather the wrong herb or use the wrong dosage, and instead of medicine, you administer poison. Which has happened plenty. Think I can help? 
You'd be doing us a big favor. What happened in Old Velador is terrible. We've lost so many people. As far as I know, Ator is our only witness. So if he dies, we don't find out what happened there. Exactly. Now, where can I find this healer? On COVID Island. Don't worry. You can trust Marker. Ader, huh? Hmm. So he needs to get healed, but um, what we're going to do is just stick to the main mission. Because I thought he was going to wake up. I didn't know that it was going to be like a side quest, side quest. So we're going to come back. We'll talk to Jack Matt. Until today, get back on track here. Ader, hey dude, if you... I, I don't know if I can save you right now. I'll save you maybe after. But right now, I can't, my man. I can't. You're gonna, you're gonna tell on me, bro. You're gonna snitch. We don't want that. We don't like snitches. I know what this is? These brass knuckles belonged first to Commander Lucas. Then, they passed on to Ator. What happened in Old Villador? It can't happen again. We have to save the city, Aiden. From the plague, from the butcher and his men, whatever they're planning. Okay, but over the radio, you said you have information for me. Yes, but before we get down to that, tell me, Aiden, what do you need this database for? What does it contain? Information about my sister. I'm looking for my sister. What happened to her? A long time ago, Waltz hurt her. He took her from me. And I want him to tell me where she is. If she's still alive somewhere, that's why I was looking for the GRE command center to access Waltz's database on its servers. So we have a common enemy. Meaning? Waltz, that's the Butcher's right-hand man. He pumps his men full of inhibitors. We can get them both. I brought you here because I know that a few GRE scientists are hiding out in the city. We picked up a trail of one of them right before the Renegade attack. Sounds promising. When I find a scientist, we'll see what they know. If they are of no use, we'll find another, and another, until you get the answers you're looking for. Fine. But what do you want in return? What do you think I want? Maybe the same thing both of us want? The city has electricity again. The renegades are on the attack. For the first time since the war ended, they attacked our outposts in the city center. But new possibilities have opened up for us as well. Thanks to the electricity, we can fire up the biggest antenna in the center, on the VNC Tower Spire. Wait, you want to defeat the Butcher using radio? In a way. The signal will let me reach a larger number of people. Communication between settlements will be improved. We'll enlist more recruits and defend the city. And then it will be easier to find the surviving GRE doctors you need. Okay. I'm in. Good. Let's do it. The Butcher attacked for a reason. I want to make sure this city is safe, no matter what. <coughs> oh. <coughs> good? You all right, sir? Maya will share our plan with you. Go see her as soon as you can. Oh, and Aiden. You don't have to call me sir. To friends. I'm Jack. Okay. Jack. Damn. Are you good, bro? You coughing a lot. Back up. Get out of here. Bro, I get sick. Jeez. Is this my... Yeah, I'm assuming this is where... Yes, sir, this is where I sleep. My quarters. Heard some of the butcher's men have developed a taste for you. Yeah, whatever, lady. You're the one that didn't want to move out of my way when I wanted to check on eight or eight, eight or eight or... Can I help? Matt told me to see you. Yes, he wanted me to give you this. A little reward for helping us peacekeepers. A UV flashlight. Ooh, let's go! Handy. Thanks. We said something about a plan? The VNC tower. Now that the lights are on, we, we can use UV the TV flashlight. antenna to broadcast our call for mobilization. Holy. But first, we need to get to the top. And that's a long road. What do you want to know? Uh, no, 
I just want to Tell me more about this yeah. radio station on the tower. It's the tallest building in Villador. It was once a symbol of the city's greatness. Now, a symbol of its fall. Why do you say that? That antenna could bring the city together once more. But anyone who goes up there trying to fire it up, guess what happens? Nothing good, I bet. Damn right. The city's potential shining beacon is a death trap. We're hoping it'll be different this time. We're gonna light it up with UV lamps. Hmm. Okay, let's get going. Are the lights in place? They would be, if Juan from Supplies would just do his job for once. I take it that he didn't. He's been playing hide-and-seek the last few days, and he's late. Getting on my nerves. So look in on Juan first, see what his deal is. And when you do find him, kick him in the ass. Tell him it's from me. What the hell, Juan? You can go. I thought our chances against the Renegades Where's Juan at? Talk to this guy. Where are you? Heard you've been hiding. There's a. Okay. That kind of sucked. There's like a UV light bar. Oh, it recharges. Sick. Okay. I thought it doesn't recharge. I was going to say that would suck if I had to keep finding a UV light. What? Nope. Definitely not one. Oh, one. Corporal will check. Notice you are ready. Looking for Juan Rayner. You don't appear to be on a schedule. It's urgent. The commander sent me. So Monsieur Jacques sends you? Jacques? Jacques Matt. Monsieur Rayner is not here. I can't take a message. Oh, he's French. No, she's French. I need to talk to him in person. Where is he? Unfortunately, I can't help. Monsieur Rainer's whereabouts are no one's business. Wait if he must. Anything else? Matt's not going to be happy. Juan is not particularly concerned with the little major's feelings. Do come again. Mm. Matt did not forgive the renegade. In the one? Getting settled in the city? Working on it. Meyer and Jack sent me to supply. Interesting bunch. Not like any of the other PKs I've met. That might be because they're not PKs, Eagle Eye. Business is their true faith. I see. Anyway, I can't track down their boss. Juan? He likes to make himself scarce. Probably lurking around the fisheye. The canteen? The slick bastard's even got his own table there. Bribes the cook to bring him off-menu goods. He lives like the fall never to. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, let me just buy that. This place. I look for him there. Good luck finding him, and good luck if you do find him. One well, sounds like a, a tough catch, but we'll we'll get him. <laughs> oh, one. Where are you? No, you're here, Juan. There you are. Juan Rayner? You lost, man? We didn't call for a waiter. I've got orders to find you. From Meyer and the commander. And my name's... I know who you are, Aiden. After that bang-up with the renegades, half the canteen wants to name their most precious offspring after you. Including Vinny here. But you interrupted our meal. State your purpose in one sentence, then please, make yourself <gasps> scarce. Well, you know perfectly well why I'm here. The UV lamps. Meyer says you owe the peacekeepers a delivery. And you think your barking will make an impression on me? The Lummox in Chief Jack thinks he can scent his terrier, and everyone will wet themselves in terror. <laughs> but what can I expect? He can't tell the difference between champagne and a crystal chalice, or water from a dog's bowl. He has an ounce of refinement. Isn't that right, Vinny? Uh, I don't know. Don't be afraid. It's not like Jack is gonna march in and have you hanged. At least not now. Uh. Ah, oh, Vinny. 
When will you grow a spine? You want my attention, Aiden? Show me you deserve it. What can you offer me? Mm. Ask one for help? No. Look, I could help you out as easily as I'm trying to help Matt. I don't doubt that. I've heard you were a pilgrim, but you're new here. Smashing the skulls of a few peasants doesn't mean everyone wants to lift you up on their backs. You have to be more subtle with people. Everyone has their own desire, their, their own price. Your pitch just isn't working for me quite yet. Try again. Mm -hmm. What? How about a court martial? Matt can do that, right? <laughs> a court martial? You have no idea who you're talking to, do you? Who would hash out the contracts with the suppliers? Who would feed the army, provide it with weapons and clothing? A week without me, and the peacekeepers will be left with nothing. Supply is everything. Try again, man. <coughs> and don't improv this time. <sighs> I'm... <sighs> You've used up all your time. Didn't pique my interest. But what is it you want, Juan? <laughs> like they used to say, if you gotta ask the price, you can't afford it. What? Returning to more pressing matters. And? We try did you make headway with the pompous ass? Never met a guy quite like him before. Hmm. I told you. Come see me back at my place. We'll talk. Ooh. No one wants to uh, meet I mean, at her place, huh? Oh, shoot. What's up there? She lives here? Let me guess. He scarfed down five courses and had a hot young woman at his side. A young man, but the rest is accurate. He's a piece of work, all right. Well, I need him to get back to work. Jack needs UV lamps and Juan's dragging his feet. Hmm, that'll be tough. Juan barely listens to Jack, so he'll be an even tougher audience for you. He has his own men and power base, and he loves rubbing Jack's nose in that. And what can I do about that? Same as everyone else. Bribe him. He likes fine art, antiques, expensive shit from before the fall. When he sees something that used to be valuable, he can't stop himself. Zero self-control. Hmm. All right, where can I find something like that? I heard of an old Polish guy who lived in a penthouse by Liberation Passage. They say he was an art collector. You can try his place. You can only get there via paraglider. That's why there's a chance something is left. I'll be on the radio and guide you to him. What about you, huh? Going on a hunt? No, a party. It's party. Danier's birthday, but you never know when a guest list will overlap with a hit list. Why don't you come and have a drink with us when you're done with one? I don't think Danier likes me. <laughs> he doesn't like anybody. We'll be in touch. All right. Wait, what? I thought I had valuables, no? You want something specific? Antique? Alright. What is this? Ah, ah. <clears throat> mm. um. Nice. We're getting somewhere, we're getting somewhere. A little scary, but we're getting somewhere. There you go. So much for guidance. Piano. You think you'll want a piano? I think a piano would be nice. Let's see. Let's see. What you got? What you got? This antique. A flat screen TV? A lamp? Hmm. A weapon, huh? Oh. Luan, there's nothing left in here. Daniel said it's a virgin spot. Keep looking. Maybe upstairs? Bush of uh, random stuff here. 
I'm sorry, but it seems that there isn't room for the helicopter. Uh, I had to save the collection. Oh. He took his paintings, but no room for Jessica. <laughs> That's one romantic son of a bitch. No way he left his wife. Fields. Ah, a list of what he took, it seems. Juan would be pleased. Checkers. Da -da -da. I feel like voice message from five thirty-six PM. Mr. Burkowski, your transport is en route to you. The art collection should be on the roof already. On the roof, huh? All right. The one. I think I found his stash. A helicopter was coming for this guy. They sent everything to the roof. I'm headed there to look. Good luck. Let's see. here oh it's oh they never picked them up ah, fuck there aren't any paintings left everything's been destroyed hey Luan found our collector but no sign of his collection Luan there is hey you there Jesus Aiden I told you I was leaving Okay, quick thing. Nothing here except for a bottle of whiskey and one of vodka. At least the whiskey's the good stuff. Juan likes a good whiskey. Maybe if you get him shit-faced, he'll loosen up, so to speak. So you still in the canteen? I saw him leaving. Seemed to be heading back to the ship. Probably to his quarters. Okay, I'll go there. And listen, that vodka? Danier is a big fan. If you're planning to drop by, which you probably aren't. But if you really want to get to know this city, this is the way. Just saying. Alright, let's get the vodka. Uh, talk to one again. Attend the party. Alright, why not, dude? Just, let's attend the party. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> A little late on the release, but we got it going. Yeah, let's go. Let's go attend that party real quick. I feel like that'll help us a lot. Coming through zombies. Coming through. birthday, Daniel. Oh, so you have come after all. Hey, here, a little something to celebrate another year on the planet. What do you want from me, Gancho? What do you mean? What do you need? Why the gift all of a sudden? But the one said it's your birthday, so I thought you... I understand the concept of a birthday gift. To get it said in a war. Yeah, uh, okay, uh, listen. 
Happy birthday. <sighs> Lost the bet. But at least I have something to cheer me up. A bet? Never mind. Lavon is at the bar. Uh, they made a bet if I was gonna come or not. That's the bar? Say less. Aiden! You came! You invited me. <laughs> Didn't you want me here? Let me get a bottle so you can catch up with us. Hey, Ro? Off duty, hmm? <laughs> uh, listen, you know how stressful things can be sometimes. He sounds you get like your orders. They don't make any sense. You're fighting the clock to get shit Sylvester done. Sylvester Stallone. Does oh, he I not? He sounds me. like Sylvester Stallone. So you made it. Luan won. Who won? Is this about some bet? Let me see. Yeah, with Daniel. She was sure you'd come. <laughs> Him, not so much. It's almost as if it mattered to her. That's unusual. Here, Aiden. Drink. Nicholas's finest booze. We were about to play a game. No, Luan, we weren't. Come on. I'm out. Yeah, count me out. Too drunk what? already. A bunch of losers. Aiden, are you playing? What are we playing? Of course. Okay, let's do it. My man. Rules are simple. You either answer an awfully personal question about yourself. Or oh, truth or you dare. must perform the dare. Okay, wait, so if I don't want to answer the question, I get to pick the dare. You wish. We decide whether it's a truth or dare. If you don't do as you're told, you drink. What? So, have you slept with anyone in Villador? No. Are you for real? No. <laughs> well, maybe the guy has standards. Fall in love first and all that crap. Yeah, good luck with that. Not everyone is like you, Ro. Okay, your turn. I want to hear you play. Fuck off. Wait, what do you mean play? I'll drink. Forget about it. Wait. You play an instrument. Never mind. I drank. Moving on. She used to play the ukulele. Ooh. Really? Guys, moving on. Aiden, you play for Ro, and I dare you to ask Ro to sing. It's awful. Ask Ro to sing. Ask what he did before all this. All right. Dare. Let's hear those pipes, Ro. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> you asked for it. You're my ragamuffin. You might think I'm tough and all. <laughs> but I always have a ball with you. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> You're my ragamuffin. Oh my I know God. it's just a silly name, <laughs> so but funny. you set my heart aflame. <laughs> it's true. It's not Sylvester Stallone for sure. Good I looked it up. Lord, shoot me. Shoot me dead before I have to hear another note. Wow, man, that was. That was something. Okay, enough of this. Anything you want to ask the master assassin here? I always wondered about that hit list. Shut up, bro. It's not your turn. Mm. Uh. Oh, yeah, the, the hit list. How did it start? With a bastard who had to pay for what he did. It started with one. Then there was another one. And then a whole bunch of them. But who was the first one? That's another question. Drink. No, he's just making you answer the first one. Who cares what he asked? It started way before that. When I escaped from Waltz. Frank helped me. He showed me that there's something else I can do with all my anger. Back then I thought I'd join them be a night runner someday Ugh. who was I kidding they were wiped out at the VNC tower Frank lost almost everyone night runners fell Frank started to drink gave up on life on himself so I'm not a night runner but at least I have my list she does have her list that's true <sighs> Good night. What? That's it? 
Was it Did I ask the wrong question? That's the beauty of this game, Pilgrim. Sooner or later, you get to the wrong question. I'll see you soon, I guess. That's crazy. What? I I did ask the wrong question. My bad. Gadjo, here you are. Thank you, thank you for the vodka. Thank you. Of Let's course, drink yeah. for me and another year in this shithole. You're not the worst, you know. Why, are you finally warming up to me? Nah, it just means there are worse assholes. And that I'm drunk. Where's Levan? I saw her with you. Now we played the game, and I asked the wrong question. How the hit list started? <sighs> Gajo, Gajo. You got her thinking about the past. Listen, and I'm not telling you this because I like you. I don't even fucking know why I am telling you <laughs> this. But never, never ask Levan about her past. You get it? Good. Now get lost. It's my birthday. My bad. Didn't know. Didn't know. All right. I just wanted to know about the hit list, man. I thought she'll, she'll have fun talking about the hit list. Jeez. <laughs> My fault. What is it now? Talk to one? Inhibitor container detected. What's new? Alright, one, well, I'm here. Honor of getting shooting out by What <laughs> the hell? <laughs> he is a snack, isn't he, dear? Care to join? More the merrier. No, thank you. Oh. If I embarrassed you, I'm sorry, I do have that effect on people. I'll wait for you, but make it quick. I must admit, I admire your persistence. Almost curious what you do after I send you packing, yet again. You'll regret it. Sixteen-year-old Highland single malt. Modeled a year before the pandemic broke out. These colored pencils. <laughs> I've read that one barrel of this stuff sold at auction for over half a million dollars. Half a million uh, dollars? What a sublime present. I'll drink with you, I guess. To your health, handsome. What can I say? You broke down my defenses. So, you're still after those lamps. Did Heck Matt yeah. tell you why he wanted them? Why he really wanted them? Yeah, to take control of the TV tower. Wait, he's serious? Is he crazy? Nobody tried that for over a decade. Matt wants to prepare to defend the city from the Butcher's coming attack. So we should start building him a monument, right? Only problem? The Butcher isn't planning any attack. How do you know? I have my spies. Among the renegades as well. Since the end of the war, we have occupied the city center. While the Colonel squats in the dam. One push of a lever. And half the city will find itself under toxic water. What? The colonel is not stupid. He knows war would be the end of everything. What about the lamps? So why did the butcher attack the canteen? That's in the city center. Good question. Maybe it wasn't the colonel who gave the order. Something more is going on. It's something we don't yet Waltz. understand. Definitely Waltz. What about the UV lamps? Why does he want them then? Jack is hiding something. 
For a while now, he's been ordering way more lamps than he could possibly need. And then some of those lamps always disappear. No accounting for them once we deliver. I'm not here for my health, Juan. I need the lamps to... To find out what happened to your sister. Right, Aiden? I told you I got my spies. Might be able to find something out about Waltz and your sister. Specifically about the GRE scientist you and Matt are trying to contact. I'd even say with my resources I can find this person faster than Matt. I actually doubt he's able to find them at all. How do I know you're not using me to make a move of your own? I'm not your enemy, Aiden. It's a shame you don't see that. You'll get your lamps. You just gotta talk to Demolan. Who's he? He's my man. Sent him out to search for more lamps, but he hasn't checked in for a while. Of course, Where can I find him? he hasn't checked in for Around a while. Around here, last I heard from him. Find him. Then come back to me here afterward. You got it. Man. Well, you know where to go. Uh, need another parkour skill going on. Let's do the slide. And then let's do the double jump. Is there a wall run? Yes. This one. All right, we gotta look for uh, what's his face. Face. Missing squad. Am I right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Our duty is to bring order. You know that. The Dimulin. Keep watch. Don't talk. You know what? Homies here. 
Oh, you have a Hulk smash? This guy can Hulk smash, dude. I'm behind the fence. Yes, sir. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. That's a fence, by the way. That is a fence. They killed your own friend. What's exploding? How did that even explode? He's almost dead. Shit. Oh, 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 oh. So many of you. Come here, wrecking ball. That took a while. These guys, man. I gotta relax, all right? There they are. Good job, man. You showed him. You're a goddamn superhero. What can I say? That beast had us trapped here. Wouldn't go away. It attacked us right as we got here. Mark got hurt pretty bad. We barely escaped and huddled up here. Finally went quiet not long ago. We thought that thing had wandered off. Next thing we hear is you banging on our barricade and then it all started again. I'm looking for Demolin. You guys seen him? Up top. Uh, Demo Come coming. on. Let's get you to a doctor. Thanks, man. Just please. Go. Hey, you're Demolin, right? I'm Aiden. Not bad. Not bad. Aiden. Nice to meet you. Your skills are exceptional. And you don't look like a peacekeeper to me. So who are you? Juan told me to check up on you and the lamps. Ah, the lamps. Piece of cake, he says. Huh, no such luck. We found a few, but it wasn't what you would call a bountiful harvest. And it came at great cost. The corporal killed by the beast outside has a brother in the unit. He will be devastated. He is at present with a squad down south on the lower dam promenade. They have not reported in. That doesn't sound good. We need to find him. The boy's mother lost her husband in a dark zone just last week. Now, a son. If her other son were to perish, it would be too much for any mother to bear. I'll try to find him. Okay. The boy's name is Sebastian. The islands are a dangerous area. Worse since the renegades overran them. Remember, the boy's name is Sebastian. Oh man, find a supplier. Find the missing supplier. Oh, snap. Alright. Hey, thanks for what you did out there, man. You saved our asses. Are we close? We are close. Oh, it's the renegades. Shit. What's going on? Renegades. More of them. Again? That's crazy. It has to be part of something the Butcher and Waltz are brewing. <laughs> but why now? Mm. 
Tobias, Sebastian, do you read? No shot he sees me. Tobias, Sebastian, do you read? Tobias, Sebastian, do you read? Sir! <laughs> Like that? Hello. You like that? Guess not. No way, Sebastian. Found your men. Um, some of them, at least. I'm sorry to say, they're dead. Aiden? You sure? How many? Two bodies, both quite dead. The squad had five men. There are three others. There's still hope. Okay, I'll look for them. Where could they be, though? Totally berserk. It's crazy. I know. Something must have happened to them. They used to be regular soldiers, at least most of them. But now they're more like living virals. They're mad. They kill everyone in their path. Like mad? What do you mean? They say Williams treats them like animals, and they go wild. Well, the butcher is crazy, like they say. Crazy and unpredictable. Here? Oh no. Who are you? Damn. Found him. Another trap! Your technique! Shit. What's up, guys? <laughs> for you buddy come on Ooh. you thought behind you behind you again what'd you do to my friends hey hey you guys all right me yeah oh no it's tobias sebastian not so much Sebastian. How is he? Pretty bad. Goddamn renegades. Don't know why there's suddenly so many of them in the center. Came at us so hard and fast. Only seven I managed to get away. You able to walk? I won't leave him alone. Not when he's like this. He needs a new bandage. This one's a mess. I don't have any more. Listen, did Demlin tell you about him? Oh yeah, about his brother and father? No, not that. Sebastian is an artist. Devlin promised him to take him one day to Marseille, to his father's shop. He can't die like this. Please. I'll help him. Hey, this should help. I have bandages. I'm sure I'll be fine. 
But I was sent here for the lamps. Where are they? After we drove off the renegades, we reached the building. To get in, we strung some ropes across from the next roof. And that's when the renegades attacked again. And the lamps? They're still on the landing pad on the roof. The military hid them well, made sure no one could see them from above. Seba only saw them from the next building, through binoculars. But we didn't get a chance to finish securing the ropes. Is there any other way to get there? You could go through the building, but like I said, wall-to-wall -wall biters. I gotcha. I'll try the rope. Wall You'd have to be a biters, spider huh? to climb in. And it's swarming with renegades outside. I like taking chances. Take this, contact Emelyn, and tell him what happened here. I'll go get those lamps. Anything for the lamps, man. Give me those lamps. Probably do this. As high as we can. Um, this, jump here. Make any any of that actually. Oh, back here. Ooh. Ooh, that's uh, yep. Those are biters for show. I was inside the What's building. Holy shit. The what? Ugh. I'm fine, but I took a fall. The lamps are busted in this one. Gotta take care of that thing up top and check the other container. Admit it. Juan's your type. What? I, the one? Get lost. Oh, that's... Yeah, that's... Uh... <laughs> like, wh how, how is this guy even up there? Like, how is that big guy up there? Like, it doesn't... Uh... I'm pondering that question, because that guy is... That guy looks insane, man. the Hulk? You guys heard that I know you guys heard that come on there's one oh he's dead 
Oh, you don't know where I'm at? Oh. What's up? What the? <laughs> How does one get in here then? Oh. Container nearby. Oh. Nice. oh well. That's more like it. Hey Demolin, got your lamps. A dozen crates, maybe more. All untouched. Clip, yeah, my friend. Tobias told me you helped him as well. Many thanks. Tu es très débrouillard. First try. Thanks. Whatever that means. There's too much for me to carry on my own, and no way I'd make it through the infected while loaded down. The boys can get to the roof and manage the lamps themselves. Thanks. Hey, Juan, we secured the lamps, but the squad hit a snag when the renegades... Shh. Not over the radio. Come to my quarters on the ship. Not on the radio, this guy's hiding something for show. Give me all this. Give me that. Give me this. Give me! Any other loot that I'm missing? Let's get out of here, shall we? Too fond of uh, this location. What the fuck? Ah. I see purple. I see purple. Bunch of howlers, bunch of um. All right, you know what? Oh. Uh. I think we should be. What the? Like we should be good for now. No. Sorry, there's water. Oh. I I have a hard time using the rope. If I'm being honest with you. Is there any sleeping quarters in here? No. Righty then. Well, you know what? I think we can make it. I just can't be that loud, you know? Whatever that means. Mm. 
I just gotta get I'm dead, I could probably lose him. What's up, fellas? Not here to fight, here to get home. Question hmm. is, how do we get home? Fair enough. That's crazy. <laughs> Ooh, we made it, boys. We made it, boys. I think the poor guy's not gonna make it. Catch this, dumbass. All right, one, I'm here. accomplished. Shh. Do you know what that is, Aiden? Uh, it looks like uh, mouse, well, mouse turds. turds, buckshot, mouse turds. <laughs> Dios, que triste. These are eggs, Aiden. You have some really small chickens. Fish eggs. Belugas, to be exact. Straight from the Caspian Sea. Dissolving on your tongue, you taste the waves of a black, deep sea in a faraway land. The world is full of beautiful things, beautiful sensations. Pretty boys and pretty girls. But humorless grunts don't notice that. What do you mean? You can't be obsessed with political machinations and enjoy the beauty of life at the same time. Who do you mean? The Jack Mats and Aidens of the world. Such a shame you picked the wrong team. Only team I'm on is my own. Sounds lonely. I'm not a fan of loneliness, you see. Did Matt reveal to you what he'll do with those lamps in a place without power? And how he plans to carry out this suicidal mission? As I thought, take this and call him. Tell him the lamps will be delivered to the TV station. Matt? 
The lamps are ready. Got it, Aiden. Good work. I hope Juan didn't give you any trouble. Go on. Yeah, he barks a little, but I can handle him. Good approach. Rabbit dogs must be kept at bay. And when they try to bite, put them out of their misery. Aiden, it's time we meet and talk about how to take that damn antenna. Wait for my signal. Roger. <sighs> that. Well, I hope you like taking orders, Aiden. Because Jack loves giving them. Stay close to your radio. You'll be informed of the meeting shortly. Take care of these two for me, will you? Hmm. Meeting, huh? Jeez. That was a long episode. Jeez. Alright, guys. Ending the episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching again. This was like a pretty long, very, uh, there's a lot of dialogue in this one, but I don't mind it. It gets us to know the characters a little bit better. Couple, uh, scary moments with them big guys coming in. Like, I thought, I don't know what they're called, but they're huge. They're like the Hulk. So that was pretty fun. Thank you guys so much for watching again, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.